today I'm going to try to turn this hunk of steel, about five inch long piece of steel that I bought at the hardware store, into a spoon. And I've never done anything like this before, um, but I figured I'd give it a shot. And what I've got here to use as my forge is my little homemade wood stove. And actually one of my YouTube viewers gave me this idea, Ed W. Dixon 5 saw another one of my videos with my turkey fryer next to it and he said that I had a propane assisted wood burning so well I didn't but um, at the time but I do now this is just a, a weed burner that's hooked up to my propane tank and I'm just using that to get my stove started so that I can get actually using it a little bit quicker than I would have otherwise so um, to do this project the hard thing to find is an anvil and this is something I got from an antiques dealer um, it's just a piece of railroad tie that uh, way back in olden times somebody took a looks like a cutting torch and cut it into an anvil shape I'm going to use this for my anvil and then uh, got a shovel for the stove <coughs> a little uh, tin can full of water there in case uh, you know we need it and also to temper got a pair of vice grips got a bellows for for getting the flame extra hot once we get some coals going and I've got some hardwood in there right now got a ball peen hammer oh I don't know it's probably two pounds I don't know it's a Martin hammer somebody gave me once and a cross peen hammer. This is a two pound cross peen hammer. And uh, I took and I don't have a swedge to make spoons. A lot of times what people will do is they'll pound, they'll have a piece of metal and they'll pound a spoon um, into a swedge. So I just took a, a, I'm gonna try this. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I took a board and I used a chisel to kind of carve a spoon shape out of it. So um, basically what I need to do now is get a good bed of hardwood coals in there and uh, once I've got that we'll come back and start forging. So I've got a good hot uh, bunch of coals in there at the front here and uh, I, if my theory is correct I should be able to put this uh, piece of steel in there uh, and just with this be able to get it hot enough to uh, go ahead and pound it out a bit. I'm just going to try it out here. Get those coals real hot here. Okay, so it's been in here a couple minutes heating and uh, I don't know if this will work or not. Um, I have zero experience doing any of this kind of stuff. I know the one thing you want to make sure of is that you don't uh, pound this metal unless it's good and hot and I think we're there so I'm just going to go and see what happens if I can flatten out this end a little bit it does seem to be flattening out a bit I think I need to get a little bit hotter though right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to make the the handle, um, the long thin handle for this. I'm going to put it back in so I don't uh, let it cool down at all here. Get some coal, more coals on top of it, get it good and hot. So one thing I noticed to do, like I said this is my first time doing this, is to move this anvil off because it was jumping around on that concrete a lot. Uh, I am able to flatten this. I don't know how much of this is showing up, but it is flattening. And then I'm going to try to thin it this way to make the handle. So I've decided that this first piece of steel is going to be way, way too thick and take way too much work to pound out. Um, so I've got a little bit thinner piece of steel I'm going to try uh, heating up right now. 
This this piece is thinner. It's it's working a little better for me. There we go. Nice and hot. So I haven't haven't been able to draw it out uh, like like I wanted to. Um, what I think I'm going to have to do is kind of fold it over on itself like this for the handle uh, as I as I work my way out towards what would be a usable spoon, and then flatten out the flat end. Um, so I'll get working on that here. First, I have to get this good and hot again. What I'm figuring out is you can tell kind of right away once it's too cold because the first few hits you make it just bends like nothing, and then uh, as you as you keep pounding on it and it cools off, um, what happens is it just it just gets harder and harder to work. So you know it's time to put it back in here, good and hot here. So we'll give it another shot here. I'm trying to fold this end over. See how when you first start it's really easy. Basically what I'm going to do is keep doing this, fold that down to get a stem and then kind of smooth it out a little bit I think is what I'll try to do. Uh, and then probably just polish it up and call it a go for a first project. You can see I'm making progress here just trying to get this bent over. That's probably going to be a long enough stem for me so I'm just going to try to shape this up a little bit so it comes together the way I want it. it plus I need to bend this back a little bit and then I'm going to flatten out this part. I'm probably going to have to cut the end of this off. So now what I'm going to try to do is flatten out this end to make this metal thinner so that I can mold it into the actual spoon here. So now I think this is getting thin enough to where if I put this in here and pound it with a ball peen hammer and it's really really hot I should be able to get uh, this pounded out uh, to have a little bell to it and then what I have to do is clean this up um, probably um, cut cut the end off and then uh, file it a bit do some file work clean it up a little bit and heat it one more time and uh, temper it. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this part. This is the one part I'm not sure about because I made this, and usually this is done with metal, from what I'm told. Oh, okay, here goes. Moment of truth. Watch the whole thing fail here. Oh, that's working nicely. Um, now I'm just going to let this uh, cool off and uh, go in and work on it with a file for a little bit and uh, I'll show you the finished results I guess. That worked. That's surprising. So I've gone inside and taken a file to this and then some sandpaper and uh, I got it more or less to shape. Pretty rough looking, but uh, kind of neat anyway. Um, I need to get my vice grips so I can put this in there. I'm just going to heat treat it. Probably don't even have to do this because it's not like I'm using this to cut anything or anything. Um, but I'm going to do that just for sake of completion. And uh, really pretty cool project. And uh, I recommend it. Lots of fun. 
and if you can do this you'll get lots of like bush hippie nerd cred and stuff you can lord it over all the other people at your camp out <laughs> Okay, here goes. Should be fairly hard now. And I'm just gonna let it dry out. I might sand it up a little bit just so that we get some uh, Nice shine to it, but that's about it. Mm -hmm.